What's happening, guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Beer, guys. I'm looking at a interesting one today, guys. This is going to be uh, from Looking Glass Brewing Company. This is going to be a barrel-aged Mad Cow Milk Stout. I have never had this before. Uh, and fun fact, this is from literally uh, early, I can't remember, early to mid-2019 when I was going to see my family downstate. I think I was heading back north that uh, that Sunday. And I usually look for breweries to kind of hit up on my way when I'm going somewhere I've never been before or somewhere that I'm unfamiliar with. I kind of look up breweries nearby that location. And this one came up, guys. So this is going to be um, located in DeWitt, Michigan, which I believe is quite close to Lansing. I think it's a little bit more north west if i if i remember correctly um but again looking glass it's like an old church guys it was a super cool old building um that was renovated on the inside a lot of history there but um I, these guys look like they do quite well in that little town so uh, i thought this would be a fun one to check out it's been sitting in my cellar for literally i mean two years uh going on maybe not more but it's maybe to the to the day two years we're going somewhere close to that range probably a year and a half closer to but um again barrel release 2019 i had to actually look this up on my phone guys because i didn't know anything about it and i want to know a little bit more um on the bottle uh it does say it's nine percent but i went to look for a little bit more info it has 23 ibus guys um, it's a variant of their Mad Cow Milk Stout. I think that one is 7.7%. So this one's thrown in a uh, rye whiskey barrel. Um, and again, it was a bomber release that was, I believe, a one-time thing as far as I know, but I could be wrong. I don't see anything on Untapped that specifies anything besides 2019. So I think this is a one-time thing, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need to know. I finally decided to crack into this one. Let's check it out. Carb seemed a little weak on the open. Not a big pop. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, it's pretty dark brown to black, guys. Pretty darn close to that. Uh, nice tan mocha head. Nothing too wild looking in the glass, but it's pretty darn black in the glass, guys. You're not going to see through that one. And you've got about a finger and a half of sticky... Uh, very, very tan, dark head that is definitely clinging to the glass pretty well. A little bit of uh, nice burn, dark brown on the bottom of that uh, head. And it seems to be dissipating quite quickly, guys. It is barrel aged and, again, milk stout. So it looks proper in the glass. Let's go to an aroma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vanilla. Hints of like nice milk chocolate. That is that is very chocolatey slash fudgy. It, it, it's uh, sugary. It's got um, definitely this big kind of like milky sugar lactose vibe for sure. It's got that lactose in there, of course. But it smells like um, uh, kind of like milk with sugar put inside a cup of milk, guys. Again, a little bit of uh, nice chocolates, kind of uh, almost a little bit of dark chocolate, it seems like, on the nose. But definitely that more milk chocolate vibe, uh, baker's chocolate in there as well. Smells like a little bit of like, I almost get a little bit of dark fruit on there, just a little bit. But it's kind of um, faded, a little bit of leather. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it doesn't smell like barrel. I don't get much barrel on there, guys. Yeah. I wouldn't really guess it, so let's try it out. It's the Barrel Age Mad Cow from Looking Glass Brewing. Smooth. Super smooth. Too smooth. That's got a velvety, creamy mouthfeel for a barrel aged milk stout. It is. It's chocolatey. It's. It's. It's sweet, um, but there are nice like roasted caramel notes on the back end. There's there's definitely like uh, dark roasted malts, but I get this like caramel kind of sweetness that's put in with that milk. Uh, there, there's a there's a caramel toffee kind of vibe in here um, that just really rounds this beer out. It makes it very smooth and uh, kind of decadent on the mouth. It's very nice. The the front is it's it's almost 
thin and watery. But then the the flavor starts to hit you. That that milks that it's almost not milk style. That, this kind of milky lactosey thing comes through the middle. It kind of like ups the mouthfeel. That you get this like oily, viscous kind of caramel sweetness, caramel toffee thing. Um, there's a little bit of that uh, burnt sugar in there. Maybe still s slight notes of like some kind of dark plum in there somewhere, just very faintly, uh, and and kind of. A little bit of tobacco leather kind of combination going on in there as well, guys. And nice dark roasted malts on the back end to kind of edge everything out. This is definitely on the sweeter side. You get little tiny hints of that barrel spice that's in there. Just a little bit of that rye barrel. Just a dash. Um... But really, you're getting the, the milk and the lactose and this vanilla kind of caramel sweetness throughout the beer that kind of just makes up what you're drinking for the most part. There's a little bit of the booze. It's room temperature. Uh, it's been sitting in the cellar, never refrigerated. But there it is, a little bit of that rye spicy kind of jalapeno vibe coming out, guys. Just a little bit towards the back end of the palate. Uh, and, and the lingering kind of roasted malts on the back end blend with that rye spice together. Um, it's actually quite enjoyable. This is, this is a beer that... Uh, was kind of a dark horse for me. I had no idea what to expect. I remember liking a few beers that I had on tap that day there. Um, but I had never tried the, the Mad Cow Milk Stout. But I think that's one of their higher rated beers, if I had to guess, going through on tap, guys. This one had a solid rating of a 3.95, and I think that's very deserving. I think this is even a little bit better than that. Yeah, dark roasted chocolatey kind of creamy oaty vibe vanilla lactose confectionery sugar thing in there um nice rye spice i wish there's a little bit more but this is only sitting at nine percent so this actually is fitting for where i'm getting this on the palate um it, it it's really quite pleasant front to back that's all i can say about this beer this is a very well done beer from uh looking glass and uh it's actually better than i expected guys so solid solid shout out to looking glass very very well done guys at least in my opinion um and rating go for a rating won't keep you guys guessing there is some dark plum or dark raisin in there too that's just touching on that that milky lactose thing um Plays well with that vanilla. Uh, yeah, this is this is tasty. And it's very well-rounded, uh, you know, being a year and a half aged out. It's good. This is one of the better beers I've had in a while for um, being barrel-aged. Besides, you know, you're talking about KBS and all the vanilla black note and all that. I've had those are world-class beers. I think this one's holding its own for being relatively unknown to the Michigan game. Not many people probably know about these guys. At least I didn't before I stopped there. So, rating. I'm going to give it a, 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 a 4.07 out of 5. I think it's really good. I wish it was a tad more viscous. I wish there was a tad more rye barrel. I wish there was maybe another uh, percentage or two of ABV, but it's a milk stout, guys. Maybe I'm looking for a actual barrel-aged stout that was kind of bumped up to that 11 11.5% uh, 11 range, and I was looking for bigger mouthfeel, but it's drinkable, guys. It's good. It's bringing a ton of flavor to the table, and I think it's one of the better milk stouts you're going to get in Michigan, absolutely, especially barrel age. Very, very cool thing from Looking Glass. So if you haven't had it, guys, maybe you'll want to check out Looking Glass next time you're running through Lansing or heading towards the middle of the state. It's going to be in DeWitt, Michigan. So, again, shout out Looking Glass. This has been another episode of Poor Michigan Beer, guys. And just remember, even if you don't like me, you might like the content I'm bringing to the table. Maybe you'll like the beer I'm drinking. Subscribe for that reason. I want you to obliterate that subscribe button and hit that like button. I'm over and out. It's poor Michigan Beer.